know, if there's one thing I could leave you all with, it's this. Let cock magic be done by the professionals. Remember, boys and girls, cock magic should be practiced in a safe environment away from prying eyes. Alrighty, so I'm Tactical Potato and this is the buffed Sobek, which is an impact based shotgun. Now, when it comes to damage types, I think a lot of you will agree that impact is, well, it's not exactly the best damage type. Slash is probably the top damage type when running in a group with cross objections anyway, and puncture is really good when running solo. But the Sobek doesn't suffer one little bit from having impact damage. It's now a serious weapon and one that, once you put enough time and effort into, can do some serious work for you. Now it's a mastery rank 4 weapon and stat wise it deals 350 base damage, it has a 10% crit chance, a 15% status chance and a 20 round magazine. But it also has a 4 second reload time. And of course there is also the Steel Meridian mod for it that will increase your status chance and give you that nice justice effect. It also has got the lowest pellet count of any shotgun making it ideal for single targeting specific enemies whether it's your Eximus or your Gunners or your Bombards it is really good at taking those guys out. But if you prefer to shred through large groups of enemies then the Heck, the Tigris or the Dracoon are ideal for that instead. So like I said, this bad boy is all about picking your targets. It is an automatic shotgun, so it can have pretty weak ammo efficiency if you miss a lot of shots, especially if you have fire rate mods on. So I decided to test it like a lot of my latest videos and bring it to a tower 4 defense and see how well it would perform once you kind of get through the later waves in that kind of an environment. It's nice to jump into the simulacrum and just throw it onto level 90 or level 95 uh, enemies and see how well it performs there. But jumping into an actual mission where there's multiple different types of enemies running at you, it kind of changes things a little. So we ran an easy 50 waves, but I did start to notice the damage drop off of the Sobek a lot sooner than I had noticed it with my heck or with the Tigris. Which is understandable as both of those weapons are now seen as being kind of top tier weapons since the buff. Whereas the Sobek is probably somewhere under top tier at the minute. Now our squad had got an Eclipse Mirage in it and when standing close enough to gain that buff this thing was dealing really nice damage numbers. The biggest problem with our tower run was the fact that my Frost Snow Globe started to take an absolute battering after wave 45 and I was left having to constantly keep an eye on it and recast the snow globe as soon as it dropped or else it would be just one rocket and the mission would be over. Now in one of my previous videos we had an irradiated disarm Loki and not having him in this squad was really noticeable later on. Our squad was made up of My Frost, Wolf's Eclipse Mirage, Disconnected Gamer Zephyr and Dr Pepper Zephyr as well. Now we stacked one Zephyr and Mirage on top of the cryopod with both of the Tonkers and because they were in close proximity it meant that Mirage's Tonker was gaining the no bounce effect from the Zephyr's jet stream and it was exploding on impact as well. And of course both of these were also gaining Mirage's Eclipse buff which meant they were doing absolutely insane amounts of damage. Now both of these guys suffered no damage drop off whatsoever and were hitting for an average of about 800,000 crits which is crazy when you think about it. We probably didn't need the second Zephyr and could have brought the Loki again and I think we could have pushed wave 80 and upwards so we will definitely try that out again and see how well it performs. But the Sobek performed really well and it's now a weapon definitely worth checking out and sticking some former onto it. I've got four on mine at the minute but it could probably do with another to max out its true potential but I'm happy with my heck and my Tigris now that I don't really want to be running with another shotgun. That's until the new Locust Tigris comes out because that thing looks absolutely amazing. So I will leave you with the rest of the footage from the Tower 4 Defense and of course my Sobek builds at the end as well. And also because some of you have been asking what colour scheme I have on my Frost I will throw that in as well and you can copy it if you choose to or not whatever. Let me know what you think of the Sobek in the comment section below, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more Warframe and as always thanks very much for watching.